This is most of the graph that I'm expecting to see on your page. And some of them are all right, some of them still need a bit of work. This is what we produced in Desmos. It's the model we constructed with one big difference, right? When you put something into Desmos, it's a cosine function. It just goes forever, right? It just goes on and on and on and on. But we only want a part of it, the first three minutes, right? So we start at time zero. There's our time axis over this way. I start at time zero, and what's the final time on mine? What should it be if it's in seconds? It's 180, right? So there's 180 seconds. You can see halfway is at 90, and that's why it's one full period of motion. Um, and I've got a few other pointers that are marked, and marked in, and these are important, right? So you can see these other things on the time axis. What do you think those times are? Like, what do you think the actual numbers are? 45 and 135. And 135. Why do those numbers matter to this particular graph? Max, yep. That's the highest point. That's the highest point, right? You can see me sort of mapping it up to there. Um, Tavara asked a question before. Do I have to have this line? down the bottom? The short answer is no, but I put it in when I graph anyway because it's actually quite hard to graph this accurately and I want to know where the bottom point of the graph is and have that accurate. Okay? Um, I suppose I probably could have put the top one as well, which is what by the way? What is the top? 72. 72? Where did 72 come from? Very good, so I've got this uh, radius of 35. So are you good to go? I've got a radius of 35, which means I've got a diameter of 70, which is why Sophie doubled. And um, what's the middle spot, by the way? This, this middle spot right here? This is 30. We added on something to this graph, do you remember? We went plus. 37. 37, thank you. Why is it 37? Because I've got the 2 at the bottom, and then here's the radius of 35. Is that okay? What do you think of the graph? Is it good enough? Yeah. I'm pretty okay. Yeah, just, yeah. I'd give it a, give it four stars. Okay. All right, now, Zachy Mo, I'm going to ask you to hit pause on that, because you'll probably have a look at the next question, and I want everyone's attention. All right, B and C. Um, can I get a quick show of hands? Who's already started on B, at least? Yep, okay, thank you, hands down. Let's, uh, let's have a go together. It says, what is a cabin? And, you know, the cabin's the thing on the Ferris wheel, right? What's a cabin's height above the ground in meters after 30 seconds? So, have a look. I've got 0, 45, and 90 marked in on my graph. Uh, wrong choice of color. Let's go with green. So, 30 is somewhere around, there's 15 and 30. Are you okay with that? There's 30. So I'm expecting a number somewhere around here. Wait, no. 54.5. Yeah. 54.5? That's what it says on mine. So I can't look at this? I don't know. Okay, let's, let's have a go, right? Um, have, I, have I done something drastically wrong on my graph? I feel like I have. What have I done wrong? Because I'm. It's just not steep enough. I think it's the. My gradient is really bad. Yeah, my gradient is. Re oh, I know what I did. Scale? Yeah, no, no, no. I just actually, this is this should be further along. It should be more like here. That's better. Does that look better from you guys? You guys can see the board better than I can. Yeah. Okay. That's more like it. All right. Now, how do we actually punch in this number? Well, we've got for part B. We've got an equation for this, right? <laughs> little, little people. All right. Let's see if we can confirm this, right? H equals, what have I got as my actual equation? Minus, mm. minus 35 cause, and then in the brackets here, what am I chucking in? 30. I'm chucking in 30, over 45. 30 on 45, and then don't forget there's the pi also hanging around from there, right? Okay, so I've put in 30 for time, right? It's a time oh, thing. Okay. Yeah, so x was what we did for Desmos because it wants an x, but it's t, t for time, right? Um, is this the whole equation? What am I missing? Plus 37. Plus 37, very good. Now, real quickly, you can go to your calculator for this, right? But I want to confirm what we've got here. 30 on 45, what fraction is that? 30 on 45, what's it simplified to? That's 2 thirds, right? 2 pi on 3, do we know our exact values for 2 pi on 3? Cause of 2 pi on 3, think, 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 think. 2 pi on 3. 
This is like 120 degrees in degrees anyway, so the relative angle would be 60 degrees, but I'm in my second quadrant, so cos is negative there, so it should be negative a half. You can go ahead and you can check that out, okay? There's my 37, half of 35. We already worked out this before when Zachy was doing the other graphs. It's 17 and a half plus 37. Is that the 54.5 that you guys worked out? Nailed it, okay? Now at this point, by the way, please note that I've not finished answering the question at this exact point, right? Read the wording of the question. What does it ask? What's it ask? <coughs> it says, it says read... Uh, well, you tell me. That's already, the plus two is already included in that 37, right? It says, what is the cabin's height above the ground? Is that 54.5? Millimeters or centimeters or kilometers? That's meters, right? So I would say the safest way, the best way to answer this is to say the cabin is, there's my actual distance, 54.5 meters above the ground. Now the interpretation of your answer, it's not just taking the number and slapping a unit on it, right? If we have a look at temperatures, or tides, things like that, right? These actually can go above or below, they might mean left or right, so it's really crucial that you interpret your answer and provide it with a sentence if they ask you the question in a sentence. Sophie? Sorry, I'm really confused. Yeah. Can we get the negative one? This part here? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Can someone help us out? Where did that, what did this replace in the line before? The 2 pi on 3. Almost the 2 pi on 3. Something else disappeared from this line to the next. Cause, right? So cause of 2 pi on 3. This is an exact value. Um, our pi is on 4, our pi on 3. Um, these are exact values that we should actually be starting to learn and commit to memory. Um, for something like this, sure, pop it into your calculator. It's okay. I don't trust myself either, so I checked it anyway. But you want to flex your brain so you actually learn these exact values. They become enormously useful. They just make you faster, right? Um, I can stand up here without a calculator and know that if my calculator is telling me something different, I've punched it in wrong, okay? All right, now just real quick, because I think most of you are ahead of me at this point, I'm going to show you, yeah, I'm going to show you my answer for the last one just so you can compare. <laughs> I'm impressed, you've got an answer, it sounds like it agrees with mine. Ah, uh, very nice, I'm impressed, very good. Here's my answer for part C, and you can see the way I've set it out, it's pretty important. Here's the answer we're going for, but actually all this stuff is the stuff that really matters. In fact, I could just as equally give you a question which says, show that the cabin is 40 meters above the ground at this time. Like I might give you that time, right? And in that case, I'm looking for all of this. This is the stuff that actually matters, okay? Because it's your reasoning and it shows that I know what I'm doing and how to solve it.